Ryan Kenny from Harrogate was asking about programming hollow bass sounds as heard in Full Throttle by The Prodigy and a lot of garage tunes. I've covered a number of garage bass sounds in my previous video. In this one I'm going to address a couple more and get a bit closer to that Full Throttle patch. So we're going to go through sounds like these. I'll be using Digital FM Style Synthesis. Uh, I went through a few different plugins, but there was something very full and throttly about Native Instruments FM8. So let's kick off by maximizing the output volume fader on the master page. Down here on the ops page, right click on the E operator in the FM matrix to activate it. Now activate key sync for both operators E and F. Push the value in the box directly to the left of F up to 70, so that E modulates F. Uh, it clicks. On the ONV page, click on E to get to operator E's envelope, and drag the release node from the bottom right to at least 0.600, with a convex curve like this. Go to operator F's envelope next, but this time drag the release node only a small amount, around 0.05 should do it and leave it on the default convex curve now there's no clicking it sounds like a classic ragga bass let's continue go to operator E's main page where you can see more detailed controls look at operator E's envelope again and drag the top left node over to the right until the abs T field reads about 1 this produces another garage style bass. From the same page, you can set operator E's ratio to 2, which makes yet another popular garage bass sound. OK, let's get back on track. Put the front of the envelope right back to the top left corner as it was. Now pull the sustain level node down to about 0.4 on the Y axis and drag it to the left so that the decay phase ends at around 0.4 on the X axis also. This gives us some punch and it's actually only a few moves away from a hard house donk but I don't have time to show that in detail now. Pull the main level slider down from 70 to about 52. At this stage, the sound vaguely resembles some of the sort of hollow sounds that were popular around the early 90s rave scene. It's quite similar to some of the sounds used by Jack Smoove, Andy C, The Prodigy. But to take it full throttle, go back to the master page, set the unison voices to 2, and gradually we'll get that detune up to about 80. Okay, that's it. Here's the sound. 